Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I mean, I don't, I, I'm just gonna tell you, I think it's pretty unlikely we top the spectacle of the last video. I mean, what can you say? Um, how about an aggressive bacteria? That seems appropriate. Um, we had a sloth run. It didn't get far. It only got to six. We draw. We, we draw. Okay. Um, and we had a chicken run that popped off and got to 10. That always feels nice. I don't respect the cricket. I don't respect these units. I'm willing to only take two and not take a piece of equipment. Worth. The worth has been established. The worth has been insanely established. Totally fine. Two level twos coming next time, which means we don't need a pug. So what do we want to see? Most important thing, if we go, oh, we lose this one, by the way. Most important thing would be a giraffe. A giraffe on the level would be, would be very nice. We might take a pug just to take it, but let me get a, let me get a, let me get a turtle. Okay, you know what? I would probably respect the turtle. And can I tell you one more thing? I think I do respect the pug enough to, to make a level two turtle possibly pop off. Let's go four squatted. There's a chance. This gives us a, a reasonable chance to get an elephant in our future and maybe try the elephant blowfish build. The only thing is weakness kind of blows it out, but then you also have to acknowledge that requires them to have a toad, which only 99% of people are running right now. So it's possible that they wouldn't be able to stop us, but it's just a fun build to run either way. Okay, as of right now, we see no such luck. I buy you. I buy you. And now I probably, I look at something like that and I say, this is Pog. And we should add a unit. <laughs> why, why don't we just... Why don't we just have you be here? Level 3 ants. With the melon armor? I think, like... I'm just not a believer... That the elephant blowfish is the way to go. We, we run... Th we get killed by it a little in the early game. For sure. But then in the late game, I'm always like... We're always running toad. And we just wipe the floor with it. Okay, you're a 4-4 that doesn't do anything else. You're a 3-5 that doesn't do anything at all. Giraffe. So we're going to figure out what we're going to do with that space. We're going to dedicate that space to a swan, as we often do. And we're going to look for... Uh, sure, okay, this is nice. And now, I think... We can start to talk about... A micro build. What we need to see, if we get one more turtle, you put the pug behind the turtle, you get a level two turtle. You run the microbe in front of that. This is a really early way to have some microbes pop in. Like, let's hope that it even becomes an issue because we have been kind of getting our butt kicked by the teams we've been going up against, you know, prior to this. We'll draw this one. That's okay. I mean, it's a strong frilled dragon, like two sheeps and a dog. That's a nasty team. So the giraffe has to go. The swan is important for this. We need two pugs or one. Just take this. Two pugs or one turtle. Nothing. Nothing. A slap in the face, if I'm lucky. You don't get even the stat buff from the pug here. You know what? We could also get two turtles, and then we could dump a pug and take something completely different. But for now, I do think most teams won't be expecting what we're selling right now. So we got some great efficiency. It's way too early for a microbe to normally pop, but we need the turtle to get there ASAP. I'm not gonna invest in the microbe, I'm sorry. I wish that I thought it made sense. I'd rather, I'd rather get it organically. I guess we're not looking for chocolate right now, but I'd, ra I'd, rather, get the, I'd rather get an organic turtle. Level two swan is also fine. I okay, now there's a part of me that's like, dude, I would definitely add a moose to this team instead of a pug so we could get some form of scaling. Let's keep tier fours and tier fives frozen. Now we're occupying two different niches simultaneously. And I don't, I don't know. A niche divided cannot stand. I don't think it's possible to win this one. That, that vulture is going to blow us um, away, is what I meant to say. It's going to blow us away. Are we on lethal? No. Somehow, no. Despite this run feeling very strange. You gotta go. And you gotta be, like, here, which is strange, because you don't... I, I, you need the level. That's fine. 
We're still far away from chocolate, too. Why don't you take some stats? Why don't you take some stats? This seems horrible. Um, maybe we're happier to buff a swan instead. And let's keep these fours frozen for now. It's still early. We need... The, the, the only thing that would make me happy here... Genuinely. Thank you for only being a level one. Holy cow. The only thing that would make me happy here is enough moose and chocolate to level the moose up. Right now. I don't think it's going to do it, so I'm just going to keep stat pumping here. It could still do it, please, for the love of God. We also need the turtle to level. Don't get me wrong. We're rolling. Freezing. Freezing. Rolling. Rolling. Okay, we're getting rid of our level fours now and trying to... Well, no, no, no. It, come on. Come on. Come on. The moose has a lot of haters, by the way. People say the moose is so bad. Look at how many times you're like wasting your reroll. What people never say is, wow, look at those free stats you got from the moose. And I think that's sad. I think people should put some more respect on the moose's name. It's actually doing some incredible work. And you'll be, if anything, you should be like, oh, snooze, another moose build. It's too easy. Okay, look at this. We'll freeze you. We'll get rid of one tier four for now. Make some space. Not really, apparently. A second level turtle would be awesome. It's more important than the moose, I think. I don't say that lightly. Okay, thank you. So you have a choice. Give the moose a melon armor, even though it's not your best unit. Because if you move the moose backwards, it's not hitting two units anymore. So, uh, yeah, I think you, you, for now at least, you invest in your scaling. Let's keep that, keep the fours frozen until... Now here we go. So now we're getting two four fours passed backwards. It's not going to outscale the chicken build. But it, it can keep us competitive for a little bit here. You love to survive a snipe. I'm not a huge fan of that, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, we don't do well when our opponent also has a turtle. But look, they had a chicken. What am I supposed to do? Level one chicken? It's too strong. Melon does nothing for us. We have to. Pizza's like, it's good enough. Why am I not taking it then? Great question. Really great question. That's unfortunate. Unfreeze those tier fives. We can get to it. So we're getting that, we're getting ten free stat points. It's it's beautiful. Sometimes you roll and you get nothing anyway. Uh, what the heck? It's it's the same. We're playing against the same squad, except they have a vulture. Is that good or bad for us? <laughs> it's bad. Let me stop you right there. It's bad. Okay. So. We only got to four. Can I tell you, in all honesty, the moose is still innocent. Though that, that statement may shock you. The moose is innocent there. Tiny planet, that's perfect. Um, the, the actual problem was the turtle microbe. I don't, I don't think in this weekly, and I, I knew it in advance. Really? I thought we couldn't lose that one. <laughs> oh, wait, no, we were the one with the two fish. <laughs> Of course we lost that one. What was I thinking? Mm, I'll take a little... I'll take a pig out on loan right now. How does that strike you? Um, I, I, I just think... It, I don't think it's a strong archetype. But I'm telling you, I've, I've never won on this weekly. And I've won my fair share in general. But I've never won on this weekly with a, uh, a microbe turtle. And I've tried to run it because it's cheeky. I've won with a moose a few times. I'm willing to wait for my level. I'm willing to sell into a swan. I'm willing to do a cheeky fish strategy. They should make a companion to Peaky Blinders called Cheeky Cheeky Blinders. Uh, it, it should. They should make a UK prank show called Cheeky Blinders. They should make a UK prank show. I was thinking to myself, I was in the shower. You know, you have some of your best thoughts in the shower. Like I was in the shower the other day and I was thinking to myself, they should make a UK prank show called Cheeky Blinders. Did we get there? We, we wrapped the punchline in some, in some uh, decoupage. I don't know what decoupage is, but don't lie to yourself. You don't either. I'm going to take a pig on loan again. I'm happy to have a level 2 pug, but we're not really doing that much with it right now. 
Hopefully we're doing enough to draw. See, still good. I mean, anytime you beat a toad, you gotta say like, thank you. Thank you, Mr. West. What else we got? This is what I've wanted to see for a long time. Big level. I think we can invest early. You are sticking around for long enough to justify some garlic, I think. I'm willing to buy ya, sell ya, freeze this chocolate, not take it just yet. Okay, okay. You know what? You give two experience. I still rather give everything a 1 1 than, than try to get some sheep out here or whatever. Yeah, okay. I mean, this is weird, but it's not that bad. In fact, I, I think it's better than not that bad. I think it's good. Because we're actually close to getting a temporary level 3 fish. Hold oh, that. They, they ran their own fish strat. Is this allowed? Huh? Is this allowed? Pug fish versus pug fish. Okay, it's round six. Still, you take it, you do this, you take a toad, you level me, and then you give two experience. So why don't you take the chocolate? That way you're gonna give a 2 2 buff every turn right now. You no longer have to exist. Let's start focusing on maybe getting a level two toad or a level two swan or a level two of something that we're going to... Because I'd, I'd love to fit a sniper on the team. We are unlocking tier fours soon. I think this team is in a reasonably good position right now. Which is usually what I say right before we start to lose rounds. So this should be fun. <laughs> we're not going to lose this one, I think. That's helpful. Yeah, dude, the toad is still coming through in the clutch. It just looked kind of bad there because we were killing their units too fast. I love the rooster. I think the rooster has a case for, in many weeklies of being the best unit in the game. I have to say I don't think it does well this weekly because um, it's hard to find individual scaling outside of the monkey. So if you can get it going, more power to you. Maybe you're a better gamer than I. Not likely, though. Now that's individual scaling. I think, I think you run it for a bit. I don't know how long you can run it for. I still want snipers, man. The pug is, it's disposable right now, despite being a 10-7, just because the fish can get to that level on its own. We just need chocolate or fish. But the problem that comes after that is that if both of our best units are disposable, then what's not disposable? <laughs> like, what, what unit do we take with us? Well, the swan and the toad, but someone's got to kill something at some point. You know what? can me we got extra money let's let's can let's take you to a level three and then laugh all you want it's a long way to the bank right now these are one one buffs okay that's not good but getting an early moose is good we have nine hp it's it's much better scaling than the monkey it just is going to take a turn or two to get us there it's the same team what what just happened did we just become best friends? It's five. Okay, five wins, one loss. That feels good. Uh, we need to freeze fives and fours, I think, right now. Moose needs to level. This is now the vindication of the moose, just so you're aware. I would freeze your toad, but then we roll, and I think I would be happy with my fours, and I would just roll once for food by the toad and now we're passing two four four buffs backwards and then i would say see you later fours i don't really want to sell anything to like to to make this work I, I i know that the pug has no reason to be here but here's its reason to be here it's got a lot of stats right now also it helps our fish get the buff which helps everybody else get the buff which is not that big of a deal but it's something i am i'm very concerned about this team we're going up against i'm very concerned that they're going to cry now that they lost to my team. And the, the unignorable power of the moose. Directed by Jane Campion. Okay. All fives. I don't mind it for now. We're, we're unlikely to get many sixes. Let's buff you. Obviously, we want to see chocolate. Chocolate is still very important. A level two toad matters the most. And also gives us a guaranteed tier six. Let's roll. Let's roll. Don't love the foods. I think we can probably try to dump... Let's dump three fives. It's so unlikely we're going to get three sixes, but... The next thing, we need to leave the food shop open because that's like our most reliable way to spend money and, and have it actually do something for us right now.
It's nice that we got to apply the weakness. I mean, you're seeing it. This moose is beating some sniper teams. It's beating some turtle teams. It's probably losing to chickens. And I don't know. Maybe it's like 50-50 versus dogs right now. I'm not... It depends on the dog. No? No, no giraffes, please. Like, don't insult me. You need this. That's fine. Let's roll for better foods. Yes, I'll freeze one. We still want more chocolate. Unfreeze you. Hope that we get more meats in the future. Still pretty early. I'm happy we have garlic, and I'm happy they don't have a toad. Because, like, the fish is unkillable. If we didn't have garlic, or if they applied weakness to my toad the first time they hit it, we'd probably lose. That's lucky for us. And Shaughnessy, I'm glad I beat you because you're one of my least favorite neighborhoods in the fine city of Vancouver. Why do you hate Shaughnessy? Maybe you should just look up Shaughnessy, okay? Google search, why don't people like Shaughnessy? I hope it doesn't come up with anything spicy, though. Hey, it's because they... Hey, look, okay? Every house there is worth like uh, 10 plus millions of dollars. Um, it's right on a major thoroughfare. It's right off of uh, Granville Street, and yet it's zoned to not provide density. Okay. And then the, uh, constantly they petition for lower property taxes, even though we have the lowest property taxes in North America. We pay 0.15% of our assessed home's value in property tax twice annually. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a golden gift of property tax. And yet anytime they're like, we need to build a school, we might have to raise property tax by a fraction of a percentage point. They act like they're, the government's trying to commit a war crime, okay? That's why. Now, if you don't agree with me, that's fine. But you wanted an answer, you got your answer. Now, let's get back to the task at hand, if you don't mind. I don't know. This is a great test for us, because we said, I don't know if we can beat dogs. They've got an econ-focused build. I, 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 I don't know. We win. <laughs> I said I don't know and then I thought about it for a second and I said I know would you like to apologize to the moose yet I mean at this point I'd love a melon but if you're just going to give me garlic I'm going to say a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush I'm going to roll for better equipment melon for the future maybe sure I mean, we got two, two almost maxed units. I would have liked to have gotten this moose maxed a little faster, but so be it. And I think the real, like, the star of the show, and I apologize for saying it over and over, but the star of the show is the toad. Okay, we actually drew. I thought that was like our preamble to finishing the run, but the toad is still the star. Chocolate. Okay, melon just beats garlic, I'll admit. We got plenty of time to wait for that last chocolate to come around. I know you're begging me to unfreeze one tier six every turn so that we can hope, hopefully find like another moose or something like that. Maybe, okay? It depends. If they're gonna make me work for it, then we'll talk about that. But I'm pretty sure we just won the game. And you just lost the game. <laughs> okay, 10 piece with one loss. Apologize to the moose. And we're running it back. You know, in this unique situation, I think you, you just. You run a 3-4, and you hope there's no pig at the front. Mm, I don't mind this. Let's be... Uh, I mean, again, we're not a lush investor. I think we're a flush investor right now, because we invested in that moose, and might I say, I think he paid dividends. <laughs> and you were all smack-talking him. Oh, moose. We hate the moose. Look at how much money you wasted, yeah? Look at how many wins I got. Love this. Love this. I like our order, too. Winning early is a foreign concept for me right now. I'm used to winning in the, in the mid-game now and then, and then losing horribly in the late game. Winning in the early game. I mean, it just goes to show you, it's just the, it's a, it's the quality of your shops. You get good shops, you, you have good games. This is an enormous get for us. Forget this... Forget you. You're gone. You're going to get added. I actually think you go here. I'm going to pill. I don't really care what you hit as long as it's the frilled dragon. We're going to run you like here. And then I'm like, if you, have to, if you have to run a pig or a bat, you can always sell it back later. I don't mind this. I, still, I think this team is very good. 
We're gonna have like a 6-7 frilled dragon. And then a 3-4 behind it. The sheep just does great work by itself. That's unfortunate. Oh no, my free honey. We draw? We lose? How the heck did that happen? You're sticking. Take some meat. You know what? You are another faint. I could be swayed. Give me one of those. I'm still happy with the team. Two HP down. Chance at a level three frilled dragon. The problem is there's no late game ability to really build around um, faint triggers. We win this. Definitely win this. Because there's no um, there's no orca, there's no storka, there's no anteater. Like there's there's no faint triggers we would look to normally and be like, oh these are awesome. That's pretty good though. But again, you gotta play the cards you're dealt. On turn five, we level, and I do seven damage for free is kind of sick. I would love to snipe the frontline unit. And maybe, like, some garlic on this frill dragon could... I, look, if I had to say, where's this team at right now? That's great math. I really appreciate that. This is also great math. This team is at win now mode. Because we don't necessarily have a future. Unless we get a moose. But if we win most of our games in the mid game, and then we don't have to worry about ever scaling into the late game, then that's, like, a pretty okay setup for us. Now, I, I think I spent a lot of money on equipment. That's what you do when you want to win now. <laughs> it's pretty not good for the late game, I think, but I think it's pretty okay for the, for the here and now. Oh my god, the math like could not have worked out better. Thank you so much. That's win number five. I'm going to hedge a little. I think we're going to want cans. Now, a pug could help a frill dragon get to level 3 faster, but I don't think it's worth the investment. At some point, we're going to combine you, but I don't. it's hard to get your HP high enough here. I don't know. I, I think we just take nothing. We can find better units. Allegedly. Call me crazy. I know it makes our frill dragon worse. But I think like it's just a better unit. Okay, and we can level you, and then we got some space. Maybe. I think that's a little sus. Do you guys see the susness there? It seemed to me like you should not get to um, spawn two sheep. Now, in the end, it made no difference whatsoever, because we were going up against the YouTuber. So, of course, we had no chance. However... I would like to speak with your manager. I would like another sniper. Thank you. We're not going microbe. Stop stop asking. <laughs> I'll just take some stats. I don't I mean I think it's making the best of a not great situation. Okay? So we got two reasonable snipers. We want another pineapple for our links. We want to figure out what the rest of this squad has going on, if anything. I don't, this is the same... It's not the same team? Someone's mimicking your style. Okay. Close, but no cigar. We're on lethal. Five wins. We need a big move. These are not big moves. We need a big move. Buys a can. You know what? This is a big move. So we're on too many different... Or did you, I may as you say too many similar uh, archetypes right now. Or no, too many different. I know what I'm saying. We got some frilled dragon faint triggers, which kind of synergizes with vultures, which doesn't synergize with snipers at all. You sniped the unit that was going to get killed anyway. Hold on, we can actually make this. It just needs to be better than that. Hold on, we can still we can still draw. Okay, rebuild to prioritize the vulture and the sniper. That's it. Forget the cans. It's not an HP focused run. You go, you come out. You go, you get bot, you get bot. You become a level. It's gonna go after the links. 
What a slap in the face. Whatever. I'm going to keep you around because I can't afford to change anything. <laughs> I really need the hawk to go before the lynx so that the lynx doesn't kill the thing that the hawk was going to kill. Oh, that's not really that much of an issue this time. Yeah, this is... Okay, Um, you built the best team I've ever seen. Average NL backseater. That stings. I'm not going to lie to you. That one stings. I've been soul red and owned, but we had fun with the moose at least, and that's a funny moment. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!